Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Research suggests that the growth of new trees may have fallen by 90 percent. That according to a report from Future Earth, an international research platform. Guam Department of Agriculture and Wildlife Supervisor Diane Rice. The brown tree snake has affected Guam's environment in a big way. Leading to the loss of 10 of Guam's 12 native bird populations. This Guam rail's name is Buenos and he's been trained to be obviously calm with people and we take him to schools so that this generation can see the native birds of Guam. Right now we have probably two generations that have never seen native birds in the wild on Guam. In an effort to preserve Guam's native birds, including the Micronesian kingfisher and the Guam rail, two of some of the most endangered birds in the world, the Guam Department of Agriculture has captive breeding facilities like this one in Mangilau, which breeds these birds in an effort to release them into the wild. But more than just birds, Guam's forests might also be at risk. The forest is impacted because the birds spread the seeds and some seeds of the native trees need to pass through the gut of the birds in order to germinate. So with fewer birds comes fewer trees. Research suggests that the absence of birds has reduced seeds for at least two tree species by 61 and 92 percent. I don't think that Guam's native species will go extinct because there are efforts to maintain those. However, the limestone forest as a habitat type itself is highly endangered. She hopes efforts including a new mice drop capability will better reduce, control and prevent the spread of the snake in Guam and to other vulnerable islands. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.